What's up, guys? Another Bitcoin update for the weekend. Um, I was really looking at this for a while, and I think that the you know we're obviously in the middle of a correction right now. Where uh, you know this was your uh, high point. I'm gonna change this to black actually, to make it more visible. Um, where this was your uh, high point, right? Um, so either, you know, this was your top point, right? And which would be really good, right? That's probably the best case scenario here, in my opinion, if this is a, a, B, C flat like this, right? Um, so, you know, that would mean that this entire impulse here is, uh, you know, you have your, uh, your big, uh, impulse wave here then obviously you have your correction here, right? And you probably would need this, uh, the EWO here that I have going to cross like that, right? That would be a nice indicator. Um, so either that, that's probably the best case scenario if uh, while we're in the middle of a correction right now. Or the other, I think, possibility here is that this is the start of your correction. This moved down, right, from that top and we're whatever i think we're due for a bounce here um worst case scenario is if we probably wick this uh 22k neckline here right so if we kind of wick this like that right that's probably the worst case scenario here but i do think we're due for a bounce right so i think we're gonna you know what i'm leaning is that we get we do something like this we don't go all the way up to a new high and then we get a zigzag down right to wherever low it's going to go you know it's kind of hard to predict how far low we could go from here you kind of have to just keep uh, adjusting and uh, updating everything right maybe we see something like that right so i think uh you know either this is a flat correction like that right um and we're gonna bottom soon or what i actually am favoring though is that this is uh the start of a correction here you know, which has been dropping for a while now, so that's the good news. And we probably get a retest of this trend line and a 618, a lower, lower high, right? And then we have a flush. Um, you know, predicting what kind of flush we're going to get is always hard. It could just go there, right? Or it could be an extreme flush, right? Um, the main thing is, though, I wouldn't panic here. I think we are due for a bounce. Uh, but I do think we're in the middle of a, a correction of this wave here, right? So, um, you know, I think we're just looking for a zigzag whenever this bounces, right? Like something like that. I, I, I'm probably leaning something like that, right? Or like this obvious looking head and shoulders pattern, something like that, right? Um, so if we go down in the, uh, the, this here right here, I was kind of repeating the same stuff over and over. I do that a lot, right? I kind of have this already labeled as a uh, one, two, and we're looking for a third still, right? And then we're probably going to get a fourth and a fifth. So something like that, right? It's probably what I'm uh, leaning on right now, right? So, like I said, the good news here is that we are probably either almost finished or, you know, probably like 30 40 percent finish 30 30 30 40 percent it's game fold and if you have capital you, you know probably just keep getting in on the dips right um so this is kind of what i'm leaning on i mean this could be pretty extreme right your third is you know probably going to hit at least the 1618 extension here right so if we draw it up like this right um you know, we could go a little deeper here. It's honestly to like 22.5 or whatever. I'm not like Houdini or whatever, but, um, you know, you get a little something like that maybe. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are probably in deep on crypto. That's why I always talk like this. More of a calming voice to, you know, not panic when we're seeing red, right? We, we are, you know, the, the phase in that we enter a bull market um it's, it's you know it's it's grindy it's slower probably going to be slower than past uh cycles right so you know patience stay away from leverage i'll repeat that every single time i make a video and you know 
and just be aware of the macro settings, right? And I'll take you on this journey, or this bull market journey, in my opinion. So we might see some like that, right? Like that, right? And then you have your completed impulse here, right? Which would be the start of your correction here, right? And then we, we're probably, you know, somewhere around here, I think, you, you know, we got to just hold from here if, if anyone is stuck and wait for some kind of uh, bounce here, right, where I think we are going to see a lower high. So just monitor the, I wouldn't even monitor the 618 right now, I would monitor the 50 to 618. Just keep these fib, uh, fib extensions in check, right, like I'm doing here, right. And then keep an eye on the 50. The 50 is, uh, in my opinion, a very uh, important level. And just keep an eye on all the data and everything, right? So just a quick update on what I think. I think we're in the middle of a correction. Really quickly, timing-wise, I think that this could probably go on till April. Right? And it's, it's always a game of patience. Right? You could see something like that till, like, you know, end of March maybe even longer to the end of april so just uh just a quick update here right maybe put up a little line real quick before i leave so maybe till march april but the the best case scenario here right if this is a flat then we're probably almost done so a uh, quick up video update